What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is your Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with this update on this uh, Valentine's Day night, uh, February 14, 2022, about 7.55 p.m. California time. Latest quake is a 2.7 earthquake out around the Puerto Rico area, just coming in there now on the Earthquake 3D globe. Looking at the latest USGS map here, uh, showing the activity over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, 2.5 and above shows some movement throughout the southern part here of the states around uh, looks like a little bit of earthquake activity in Arizona as well seen a 2.5 earthquake uh, in Roosevelt uh, uh, Arizona of all places 9.8 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake also some further movement out here in the southern part of the state we will bring up the all magnitudes though so we can get a little bit better view of what's going on in this area i uh, seen a little bit of uptick here north of Los Angeles. Seen this earthquake this morning, a 3.2 uh, striking up there north of the area. And also some further activity ramping up here around the Ridgecrest area. And also the uh, uh, towards the Coso Volcanic Range up here to the north. Antelope Valley area. Well, uh, Long Valley Super Volcano, I should say. Seeing a little bit of activity outside of here. Outside of the caldera, just a couple small microquakes. Looks like 1.9, the largest in that little cluster of movement. And also some activity across the Candelaria Hills, uh, northwest of the Tonopah region, Tonopah, Nevada. Uh, seen some further movement ramp up here, off the uh, just off the San Andreas Fault and throughout the coast range here, including a little bit of activity here north of Redding, uh, around the Lake Shasta area, looks like, with a 2.0, pretty shallow earthquake. Mount Shasta and Mount Lassen all look pretty quiet uh, in the uh, mountains currently. Uh, some activity still continues there. Mount St. Helens, folks. Uh, nine earthquakes or so within this region of the Mount St. Helens area. Still keep an eye on that uh, region pretty closely. And uh, some earthquake activity off the coast of the Vancouver Island ranges. Range? Ranges. Uh, 2.0 looks like. Five kilometers below the surface. Go ahead and check out the tremor map here while we're on it. Looking at, uh, look at that, look at that activity right there. Holy smokes. 187 epicenters of uh, tremor right at the Vancouver Island ranges. That would explain the uh, little bit of surface fracturing that we're seeing up here just west of the Vancouver Island ranges that I just showed you. Uh, it's a pretty good uptick in earthquake activity from last night and tonight. Last night we had about, uh, let's see, what was it, 280? See if I remember that right. Yeah, 280 to be exact. Mostly on the southern end. Uh, over last day today, though, the majority of it confined to the uh, towards the northern end of the Cascadia. Still a little bit of movement here uh, on the southern end, but that's a pretty significant jump and in increase up here around the Victoria area. And once again, that activity uh, showing up there, uh, creating some. Uh, well, you can see it there on the map. Some uh, surface quaking over here to the uh, west of the Vancouver Island ranges and some other uh, activity here. Looks like some query blasts or explosions out here is what it's saying on that map. Uh, let me check out the Earthquakes Canada map feature real quick here and see if these guys are reporting anything. Well, actually, these guys are showing quite a bit more. Uh, some pretty good movement outside of the... Uh, let's see what we got here. 3.6, the Grand Prairie area, Alberta. I know that's not ocean out there. I'm not for sure why it goes to ocean. But uh, they definitely had some earthquake activity over the last couple days in that area, uh, specifically around the Cascadia and Vancouver Island area. These guys are showing a little bit more further movement um, up here to the north. You can see that uh, red circle there. Kind of, I hate when it does that. But some small red circles indicating some microquakes. And offshore, too. Uh, just offshore along the um, plate boundary of the, looks like right into the Explorer plate up here, west of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's going to be this dark blue line right here. Um, and over here, of course, is the uh, Pacific plate boundary with the uh, Explorer. Juan de Fuca and the Gorda plate down south. Uh, but uh, yeah, another earthquake up here that the USGS not showing. Port Hardy, BC area, uh, kind of just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone as well earlier today. So... A heightened movement, and that's all due to the uh, subduction there of the uh, north of, of the um, uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Kind of, kind of uh, seeing that uh, take place here today 
in an obvious way. Not a whole lot going on in Northern California, uh, but uh, if that tremor continues, I'm sure that will increase. I wanted to show you guys some uh, seismograph stations here of the Brookings, Oregon area from the USGS map and compare them to the PNSN network, okay? Uh, we'll go ahead and click on this around the uh, Brookings area. Seismograph station, uh, of course, it's not showing anything there right now. Let's see if we can back out of here. Okay, these guys are, hmm, that's a little odd. I was just looking at these, now I don't have access to them. Let me uh, see what we got here. Okay, we'll go down here on this station. Okay, this there's this one's working a little bit. Okay, this is from the uh, past 24 hours or so. so shows part of February 13th, but I want to get to the majority of the 13th right here. Um, okay, now that's kind of weird. That just went to the 14th. There we go, 13th. Not a whole lot of activity on this map, right? It looks kind of odd. Just the data itself looks weird when it comes to reading a seismograph. And then I want to take you over here to the PNSN network and go down here to the uh, similar station, but through the PN PNSN seismographs there around Brookings, Oregon, and check out what they have on their seismograph stations from the 13th here. Uh, let this load up here for a second. I'm just trying to show you guys the missing data that the, uh, here's the 14th, right? This is kind of today, earlier today. Definitely some activity ramping up, uh, some very small quakes, but uh, the previous day, the 13th, is kind of what I want to show you guys. Look at this distinct earthquake activity showing up here on the uh, Brookings, Oregon station. Very distinct, very localized activity. But when you look at the USGS map here, around the uh, time frame of, what is that? Let's go back here. 1720 to 1820 time frame is what it looks like. We check that out here, 1720 to 1820. Look at that, nothing. It's almost like those earthquakes don't exist on the USGS map. Just kind of a confirmation now of a further uh, lack of reporting on the USGS here. They're just not getting in with the program when it comes to earthquake activity. And I'm not for sure why their seismograph stations now are not showing uh, uh, any type of uh, any type of movement for that for that matter. But definitely showing up here on the PNSN network. Uh, within the vicinity of that prior station that I just showed you here from the USGS. USGS, PNSN network here. So uh, definitely some earthquake activity. I see these all the time pop up on the Petrolia station. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's there for sure, folks. Definitely uh, earthquake activity happening there along the Northern California coastline and Southern Oregon as well. But the Cascadia sits right off there. Uh, what else we got here? Not a whole lot going on. Some movement throughout Texas and Oklahoma, eastern part of the country, pretty quiet. Puerto Rico, of course, that latest quake on the globe down there. Some movement out into the Puerto Rico Trench and the Mona Passage area. Uh, Middle America Trench looks pretty quiet for the most part, uh, except for a little quake off the El Salvador region, 4.3. South America, pretty, qu pretty quiet right now. Uh, Hawaii had some activity ramping up too uh, throughout the day today. Uh, looks like a little one here within the last hour, 2.0, near the Fern Forest, Hawaii area, just to the uh, the uh, southeast of the Kilauea Volcano, southeast flank region. Alaska seen a little bit of heightened movement up here, in a little swarm fashion. Pretty shallow earthquakes in this area. Uh, looks like about 10 kilometers for a couple of them and then getting deeper into the subduction zone uh, with a couple of those quakes registering 20 to 30 kilometers downstream. So got to watch this area pretty closely. We start seeing movement like this along the Aleutian Trench. Obvious sign of some uh, impending pressure in that area. Uh, Japan, pretty quiet. One little earthquake off the coast here. Japan, east coast, 4.5. And uh, some activity throughout the Indonesia region and down through the... Uh, uh, the uh, Kermadec Trench area. Yellowstone activity, kind of making this a little short, folks. Uh, I'm not going to make it a super lengthy video. Swarming activity has somewhat died down over here along the eastern part, a borehole, promontory area. Uh, but we are seeing a little return of movement here around Maple Creek within the last few hours. Distinct earthquake activity there. That's 
that's what earthquake activity looks like and it's popping in there nothing big if this was big these would be dark thick red color lines and uh it'd be blasting all over the place across all these seismographs but these are just very very small microquakes they are showing up along holmes hill in the purple mountain area but uh some small microquakes kicking up there in the uh yellowstone national park area but uh then again you know what nothing going on here i'm wondering if these guys got the earthquakes from a couple days ago let's see if they've uh registered them in it looks like they've added a few yeah from the uh the 13th time frame it looks like they finally added that little swarm uh so far they got about 42 earthquakes of uh you know for the most part i said they were all under two and it looks like they were under two magnitude a um, bunch of small microquakes around the madison uh, area and also up here along the uh, lake yellowstone region so i'm glad they got to them that's that's Hats off to you, uh, USGS, for at least adding them. It takes them a couple days, but hey, uh, at least they got to them. Now we wait for the uh, activity from the last 24 hours because there's nothing nothing there on the map. All right, folks, uh, let's see what else we got here. That's about it. Uh, just had a beautiful dinner with uh, Missy Mimi's tonight uh, and, and did some hanging out, listening to music, and uh, just enjoying the uh, evening here with Missy Mimi's. We will be back uh, tomorrow sometime, folks, with an update. Live stream is up and running. Hope everyone enjoys their night and uh, stay safe out there. Have a good one.